What's good, y'all? It's your boy Black G92. Man, how y'all holding up on this election day? Which is the most important one out of this very shitty, fucked up year, 2020, you know? But for real, in all honesty, for real, for real, I hope everybody, wherever it is that you live in, county, state, wherever part of the U.S., Y'all staying in, voting that, just stay safe and sane and protected. Cause by the way, the like the media and like what's been said and all the and all plus just the past few videos I've watched on YouTube about all these businesses like just boring up their stores and such. It, they saying it's about it's about fixing to go down like in this country for real. Like depend on who wins, whether. You support like the red or the blue side, like blue team, whatever, like whatever you support, like just stay safe, man. Just stay safe for the love of God, for real. Matter of fact, I'm gonna give y'all a prayer. Alrighty, <laughs> let's get to reaction. Now, I'm gonna wait it as you see on. Well, it ain't really. It's just a black screen, but. The video I'm about to react to is the music video slash song by Mises titled Trump 2020. So I'm going to see what Mises has to say about his support, endorsement, and support of Trump in, in his video and what the visuals look like in about three, two, one. I'm screaming Trump 2020. Hold on. Hold on. Let me go ahead and play it back. Shit. Make sure it's loud enough. It's, it, I think it was loud enough. I think it was. <laughs> I'm tripping, but let's get to it. I'm screaming Trump 2020 or Christ 21. Cause the way this shit heading, I'm again finna come. I ain't dumb. I can see the writing on the wall. I ain't talking about the wall by Mexico. No, I'm gonna let him know. Mm, okay, already. Already dropping some very heavy bars right there. Just saying how armor again is about to come. Like, this. And this, by the way, this video was like uploaded like four months ago. So he was basically just, this whole, basically predicting like just the outcome of what, how this whole year was going to turn out. Like the, the how this year is going to turn out just based on all the craziness that was going down like during the summer with all the riots and shit and police shootings and all and the, and, and the like, you know what I mean? And just saying how it's written scriptures and all that shit, like. Dude already dropped some heavy, re obvious reference to the Bible, Armageddon, and oh, obviously, and also the word Armageddon is mentioned in the book of Revelations in the Holy Bible, so, <laughs> and I like that shirt too, <laughs> he has Jesus in there, and <laughs> and I wonder where he shot this video at, because it, it, because like, I see the Trump Tower right there, so, <laughs> Duke, <laughs> Duke obviously wearing his like, endorsement not endorsement but support very very high and and being bold with it so let's see what else you got to say interestingly enough like we mentioned about Obama and think think it's Obama built the cages first. Obviously the whole board, whole like ice, the whole ice whatever over at the Texas, the U.S., the United States, Mexican border, and hey, that that's factual though. That's factual. They were built in 2014, so like that's that's one thing that kind of threw me off when people kept on putting it all on Trump about like legal immigrants being locked up in ISIS and all this all the stuff they and had to endure like while locked up in those cages locked up in the cages. Which is which is very fucked up and should be like worked on it should be definitely improved as far as who gets hired in there. I'm keep I'm I'm gonna keep it short, whatever. I don't wanna talk too long, but but goddamn, like the shit he just said in the first few bars like just got me just thinking. It just and it's def, def and I heard and I just mentioned actually in the question, like during the final presidential debate, like who built the cages? By who built the cages? Like that was true. Like they were built right then, and of course it gotten. It hasn't really proved or whatever. It got. It definitely kept on getting bad. Like from from starting from there, like when it was built, because all that was going on, all that was going on, like not five but six, seven years ago for real. But he definitely dropped some facts. He said. 
my, I mean, and also I like the part where he's like, my Mr. Facts, people's feelings get hurt. Very true. Especially in this, today's polit- polarizing climate. No matter what side you went on, like, people get in their feelings for sure and just write you off automatically. But let's get back to it. Yes, he was a racist too, but he can't because he black. No matter what he say it through. You probably we on the subject of that fuck cat. I can meet and go to church, but you won't let the pub bless. Hold up. I can't hear it. Let me see it. I can't quite hear what he said. When I talk about truth, you get your feelings hurt. Hope I don't want to let him through. Guess he was a racist too, mm. but he can't because he black. No matter what he say it through. You probably we on the subject of that fuck cat. I can meet and go to church, but you won't let the pub bless. Shut the fuck up. Hold on, let me let me play that shit back. Let me play that. Let me play that shit back. Dudes is dropping hella quotables, man. Shit is crazy. When Candace always has to show them that they live in Swayze. Speaking Swayze, Hollywood should got a lot to say about Donald Trump, but then they plead the fifth when little kids get bored of slaves. I'm getting so tired of the truth. Mmm. Damn. You just point out the, just the whole hypocrisy of it all, man. How this <laughs> put all on one side, but yet all the while, like, on, on not just on their side, whatever, but they, the kids are just, the children over there that's being brought over the country, this like, Enduring like this brought in slaves, whatever. Base yes, it's a reference to the whole like child trafficking shit that's that be going down, like which is a very serious issue for sure. And ain't just go well, ain't just like one person or just one party. It's like it, it's collectively a lot of people that play the hand and allow to get as bad as it is. And it should take people of like sound minds and just genuine care for those same children just to end that shit. You know what I mean? And and he def and I, I know it's the name drop of Candace Owens, who was another polarizing figure of this climate. And like I don't ex- exactly like every last thing like Candace Owens be saying, but she she every once in a while she be saying some real shit though, like for sure, for real, for real. But let's get back to it. Being called conspiracy, bitch, I die if I have to. I don't think you hear me. I give a fuck how many fans I lose from this. I'm on a mission, so that come with two to six. Okay, I like that little mask of Second Amendment. Okay, I see you, Mises. Talk your shit. Talk your shit. And I like that line we're talking about some like I hate that the truth is like dismissed as conspiracy theory conspiracy theory of me. Which happens quite happens quite a bit. If you go if you ever go on tw- see argument on Twitter or say Instagram comment section, it's a lot it's definitely a lot of that shit going on. Like for real, for real. Like I don't even gotta say no more. We, Cause I guarantee y'all seen that shit go down. Like people just dismiss whatever you gotta say that is factual as conspiracy and fuck what. And like he said, he don't care how many fans you lose. Like that's when you know like someone is gonna stand on their shit. You got even if you may not even agree with dude, like you got respect, he's gonna stand on his truth and his beliefs. Like you got no choice but to respect that shit for real. Like it's and what he said also was end up becoming very true as far as like the millions of views, another views from a nobody. Like, cause when I went in like logged on, pause, but I'm like pause the video, of course. So I have it for the reaction it has millions of views right now. Let's get to it. Let's get back to it. The money make our country cashless. Half the shit I share on Facebook gets deleted faster than the tweets at least deleting. About the shit they eating. Tell them Beatles eat a dick. Think I'm playing if you want. Mama praying for a son. Hold on, let me go ahead and play that back. He said something else too before that other part. Share on Facebook gets deleted faster than the tweets at least deleting. About the shit they eating. Tell them Beatles eat a dick. Think I'm playing if you want. Mama praying for a son. Cause the snakes around them that are laughing, draining up the swamp. The fun of me. <laughs> oh shit this dude going in he said defund the media like basically inverse of what everybody was doing when they was talking about defund the police which has good intentions but when it was executed in portland well it it, it was executed in portland which i which my read up on actually right i think i read up an article about it but and like the 
if Center Police sta- Station over in Portland and they allowed folks over in Antifa kind of have that section itself to so we start off good and everything, like all things with good intentions, but crime started going up and it just it was a fa- it failed. <laughs> and but yeah, defund the media. I could so I could definitely get behind that because especially the mainstream man, like shit, they they be saying all they saying like whatever they going all crazy and I feel, and I had no idea, dude. I had no idea. Lisa just got his shit like deleted from Facebook. Like, I wonder why. I wonder why. I wonder what <laughs> what the reason for it. <laughs> Not like he was like telling POZ to dick. Facts, facts. Like never co-sign with that statement. But oh, let me go ahead and play it back real quick, man. Cause I, they don't love this fucking song. He's deleted faster than the tweets. At least deleting about the shit they eating. Telling POZ to dick. Think I'm playing if you want. Mama praying for a son. Cause the snakes around him that I'll have been draining up. Oh, 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 shit. How he meant, how he also made that re- course of draining the swamp with reference to how Trump mentions like his little comment about draining the swamp, like as far as like the whole White House and shit. I mean, which is you know as far where you sit at, like it's it's going fixing going down. A lot of shit getting exposed and, and whatnot, and everything is what it appears to be and shit. And I like to say I haven't really watched much of like. Like the news since, like since the summer two thousand twenty, like for real, like I may read an article or see a video of like a commentator, like of a commentary that I follow or trust their word, because like, cause like basically seeing it, like they stay, they they stay focused on fear, on just like fear and shit, like, they make it seem like we're stuck in some bygone era of, like, this, how, bygone era, you know what I mean, like, where bigotry shit is, like, white willy-nilly, I mean, don't get me wrong, like, the shit still exists, it's not, I mean, like, racism and shit exists, like, all the other stuff, isms you could think of, it exists, but, and, and it won't go away, but how CNN and certain news outlets may out it's make it seem like we're stuck in the fucking like hundred fucking years ago or some shit. Like we haven't made some sort of progress and this not it ain't just the CNN, like other news outlets as well, like in the mainstream just be like perpetuating that divide amongst not just races but people of like against folks that are different genders, orientations. Matter of fact, I I'm not gonna go off at this whole tandem but like I don't watch it but I like that line we mentioned I don't watch the news because for like further, further our division and fact checks trying to unite with the woo in. I like that whole time. I'm gonna take a stand <laughs> and put for making a whole hand motion by like shit. Like he's like about to draw a line in this shit. Let me see what else you got to say about it. I wanna retreat, jump by me in defeat for America. Kiss goodbye to land of the free. If that little girl sniffing pedo gets into position, hope our president is seven and what's that's a socialist. And I ain't working on. He just mentioned, mentioned right there, we ain't mentioned about if America is so bad, like shit, how come so many people from other countries trying to get in, which that is very complicated, very like complex issue, which is, can't be like just stated within, I said, it's, it's, it's going to take a long ass time to even <laughs> try to break that shit down. Cause like, yeah, that, but that's fact. That's, there's some, there's some truth to that. There is definitely some truth to that statement. Cause if, if America is truly this so bad. I mean, granted, it has a lot of issues we need to work on. I mean, granted, they, have, they we got a lot. There's a lot of issues that 
us as Americans need to work on. People that live here and shit got to work on. And, but there's folks that come here making a good living out here. So, I mean, it's something to think about, maybe. I mean, <laughs> and whatchamacallit. And as far as the whole... Let me see. Go ahead and play it back. Damn, I keep on reminding shit. I should let that shit play. I've been thinking if America is such a shitty place, why so many people risk their lives to get into the state? And why so many people fighting for illegals anyway? Mm. If it's so bad, then why aren't you warning them to stay away? So many double standards, I'm impressed that you can keep them straight. Especially when I know how bad you waste the thought of keeping straight. It's like I'm more polite than women, man. Shit, Mises. Woo! Man, I was I was a fucking banger and some and a whole lot of just like this quotables and low key fa- and a lot of factuals in there too if you look for them like and and Mises definitely just made a, made a statement like where he stands stand that like and shit just willing to <laughs> take whatever criticism he's fixing they he was fixing to get when he dropped this song in. Got no choice but to respect that for sure. Like, I'm gonna say this again. Like, I, I have to respect this shit, man, for real. Because you could definitely tell he meant every word he said in that song for real. Like, man, what, what else did I have to say? Also, like, how he just meant, how he took a shot at Biden and t- called him a child sniffing pedo. Like, because if you look on YouTube, like, you can find hella videos of Biden doing that type of shit. So, Wherever you wherever you sit at, like, is out there. So <laughs> that now that ain't no that ain't no cap right there. That ain't no cap right there. And as far as I'm mentioning how can folks care so much about 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 like legal immigrants, or whatever. I mean, again, another one that's I mean that that's also complex as well. Because I'm sure there's people actually the gym be care about it, whatever. But as far as like folks that's hopping on it just because they have some, want some have something to talk about, very questionable indeed. Like look. Cause there are those people out there looking to get get some brownie points out of it, as far as the whole conversation, part as far as that, that issue is concerned. So, hey, set, hey, this that was Trump's twenty twenty, and like I said before, the song is a hell of a banger and shit, lyrical as fuck. <laughs> I mean, as he knows, how many times I pause the video, probably way more than I need to, and just how I broke down every bar and everything, <laughs> damn near every bar, cause shit was just fucking just epic, you know what I mean, so, if you, if this, this, if you like this reaction video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and, if you want to hear, want me to react to more Mises songs, music videos, or whatever, be sure to do the same order, and send it to, send me the DMs, inboxes, in the Twitter, Instagram, all that shit, social media, while I'm, while I'm pretty much open to whatever reaction you want. It don't gotta be music. It be like whoever you have in mind that's got some got some shit to say, or there's some that's like, there's some easy on the ears, or a like, compilation, whatever. Be sure to do so. And what else? What else about to say? Follow me on my social media accounts. It's gonna be posted in my description box below. <laughs> yeah, be sure to post them in the description box below. For uh, be, not. Not posting, but follow me on social media accounts in my description box below. This is Black G92 about to sign off. Holla at your boy. Peace. Oh, P.S. Going to do another reaction video sometime, like, tonight. Not record, but I'm going to post another one tonight right after this one. So stay tuned. And if you want to know where I stand on the whole matter, refer to my previous reaction to, like, Adam Calhoun's vlog for your information. Peace.